What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Rob here with RK Motorsports and today we are going to be restoring a salvaged 2013 GSXR 750. Now before we get too far ahead into this video, I am going to start off by saying this will be a complete restoration from start to finish of this bike. So feel free to hit that like button below, kick back, relax, and watch this whole bike transform right before your eyes. Now if you guys missed the first video of us actually picking this bike up from the auction, I will put that video up in the corner for you to go check that out. And then you can hop back here and then finally watch the rebuild process. But for you guys that have already seen that video of us picking the bike up, let's go around this bike and take a damage assessment and see exactly how bad this bike really is. So as you guys know, I like to go around the bikes every time I start a new rebuild and this side of the bike really is not that that bad. Once we start looping around to the left hand side of the bike we can really see how bad the damage really was. Now it looks like this bike was low sided on this left side because we have some scratched up fairings. Fairings up here are disconnected. We really don't have too much damage to our headlight. Front fender looks okay and we have some ground down pieces right here on our lever, you know our bar end and Thankfully, our tank is really undamaged. It looks like we have one minor surface scratch right here. We could probably buff that out if we need to. Um, but really, the damage isn't super crazy. Mostly cosmetic damage. And down here, we have, you know, our side covers a little scraped up. We might be able to just sand this down, repaint it, and get it looking nice. Right here, we've got a broken rear set. I actually do have one on hand from a bike that I was working on before, so I'm gonna be swapping that out along with all the other parts we need to do. Down here, looks like our swing arm was a little scuffed up from the accident. We have a little bit of the paint kind of scratched off right there. It's really nothing too crazy, but I think we might be sanding that down and then give it a quick coat of paint, and that'll kind of really bring that back to life. Back here a little bit more, we have our tail light has broken off and fallen out. So once we get our new fairings on, we are gonna be installing, reinstalling that tail light. Tire tread. Now in the first video when we went and picked this thing up, I was amazed at how brand spanking new these tires are. Now I believe these are the Pirelli Angel STs. Let me see if I can confirm that real quick. We have our Angel ST, yes. So these are the Pirelli Angels. I do like these, they're kind of like a harder compound so they last a little bit longer, but they come with these designs in the tread right from the factory and look at these are still on here. So these, are, these tires probably have less than 100 miles on them. These are like brand new. So I was wondering if somebody maybe got new tires on their bike, really kind of wasn't used to how they handled with the new grip. Because you can see they got a brand new front tire on here too. Maybe they came into a corner too hot and then lost control because maybe they weren't used to these new tires. Hop in the comments below and let me know what you guys think about this. You know, with having these brand new tires on the bike and having this damage, maybe that's the scenario that happened. Let me know what you guys think might have been the outcome from this situation to what caused this bike to wreck. So we've got those new tires, we've got this god-awful AutoZone, I don't even want to call this an exhaust right here. This thing is definitely going to be coming off. I just absolutely hate this thing right now. Um, I wouldn't even call this a modification. This is like a downgrade if anything. So we've got that that we're dealing with. And then really on this side, there, like I said before, there's really not too much damage. This is just kind of some markings from like the insurance company or the impound yard that it came from. Uh, we've got, you know, one little broken piece of the fairing there. And how can I forget to mention these beautiful stickers on the side? Let them hate. 10 horsepower right there. Looking at our tank on this side, it almost looks like this is some kind of damage, but I think it's just some kind of, I don't know, we've got some kind of something on here. That'll rub off. That's just like dirt or something. So that's not bad. Um, we've got a broken mirror. The previous owner that wrecked this, it looks like they tried to fix it with electrical tape or something. We're just gonna take that off. We have a new set of mirrors, so this is gonna be going. We're gonna slap those on there and get it looking nice. And last but not least, I am about to show you guys my favorite part of this bike right here. That right there. If you guys have seen any of my other videos, you absolutely know how much I love these LED wiring kits. Look at all that spaghetti right there. This is getting ripped out of this bike. I cannot stand having all these extra wires in here. It just makes things so much more complicated. So this right here is definitely getting removed. Now let's start taking some of these pieces off. Let's strip the bike down and get a nice solid platform so we can start rebuilding and putting those new parts on on the Salvage 2013 GSX-R 750.
Now I've talked about this in my other videos, it's always interesting what you find in the tail section of these bikes when you buy them used, you know, the previous owners tend to leave things in here. So as I was taking this apart, I found this bag with this other bag inside of it. So let's open it up and see what this is. Looks like some kind of storage bag. Oh, cool. This is the original GSXR 750 owner's manual. And also in the back, we have what looks like the original toolkit for the bike as well. Um, it's, it's been a while since I've actually had a bike that had the original owner's manual in it. And having the toolkit with it also is pretty cool. So that's kind of win-win. Let's move on to getting that spaghetti mess of these LED wires out of this bike. So if we follow these LED wires all the way up here, you can see they take a turn right near the neck of the frame, follow along back, and go back here towards this mess of wires. So what we're gonna do is clip these bad boys. I think there was a couple underneath here. Yep, I'll rip these. That one. A lot of lights on this bike. All right, let me get the last couple LEDs. And look at all that. You guys know exactly what we're doing. Into the trash we go. Now, doesn't this look so much cleaner? No extra wires, no nonsense, all original. This is what it's supposed to look like. Nice and clean. All right guys, you can see we've got that cover all sanded down and I also touched up the back portion of the swing arm right there too. So we're gonna take our spray paint and we're gonna touch up those two areas. So let's see how it looks. All right, so we got that side cover painted. It's not perfect, but it's a hell of a lot better than it originally was. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna just quickly detail this bike. It's super dirty. I wanna get this thing looking nice and clean before we get our fairings put on. All right, so I just went around the bike real quick, give it a quick detail. Everything's looking nice and clean on here now. We also went through and cleaned that chain. I was wondering if we were gonna have to get a new chain, but just cleaning that old one revealed how nice it still is and our O-rings are still intact. So all I gotta do is still lube that up after we're finished. So we've got a nice clean bike now. I also did an oil change. We've got a nice oil level in there with a new filter. So this bike is looking good. Now let's open our box of fairings and see exactly what color scheme we're looking like for this new GSXR. All right guys, so here is our new color scheme for our 2013 GSXR 750. We are gonna be rocking a pearl white, black, 
silver and red color scheme for this bike. Now this is our complete set of fairings here. We also did get a new front fender and side plastics for our tank, but because our front fender and side plastics that are already on the tank are in decent condition, I'm not gonna be taking those out of the packaging and putting those on the bike. I'm just gonna be reusing our old ones. So I'm just gonna get a quick close up of these fairings. Awesome paint finish, great clear coat. We've got these decals laid on here. Everything's looking nice and crisp. Again, huge shout out to the guys at Alkmarts for hooking me up with this set of fairings. This is gonna look awesome once we get that on the bike. And if you guys need a new set of fairings for your motorcycle, be sure to check out alkmarts.com. They have hundreds of different fairing kits with a bunch of different color schemes for almost any type of motorcycle that there is out there. So be sure to head over to alkmarts.com and use promo code RKMotorsports at checkout and that's gonna save you a little bit of cash off the top by using that promo code. So make sure you check out alkmarts.com if you need a new set of fairings and let's get to throwing these new fairings back onto this bike. All right guys, so here we go, all finished up. We've got this nice pearl white, black, red. This thing's looking really nice. I'm glad with how this thing came together. Got our brand new tires, almost like brand new in the rear. Got our chain nice and cleaned. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about this color scheme. I'm, I'm a fan. It's just got a little touch of red. You know, we got the little red accents here with those levers. I think it really offsets the bike really nice. I'm pleased with how this looks. Now, one last thing that I did not get around to was this exhaust. Now, unfortunately, New York State just passed within the last year a law that prohibits any type of vehicle repair shop 
to install aftermarket exhausts on any vehicles, cars, motorcycles, trucks. So technically, if I was to install the aftermarket exhaust that I want to put on this bike, Technically, it would be illegal if I put that in the video. So I'm gonna have to leave this as is right now. I know it looks hideous, but I will fire this bike up anyways for you guys to see what it sounds like. Again, it kills me to have this exhaust on, but for legal reasons, we're gonna keep it on here for now. So let me know in the comments what you guys think about this bike, how you think it turned out from the way it looked before. I'll throw a picture up right here to show you guys what the bike used to look like versus how it looks now. So if you guys have not already, hit that subscribe button so you can see these new videos when they come out. Hit that thumbs up button. I appreciate the support guys and I will see you in the next episode. Later.